Okay guys, so I've just made a video on how to install the Open IV. Um, I'm just going to go through a few things because I feel a few people may get lost in that video on how to create the mods folder. Um, first of all, let's just open up this Open IV. We're going to click on Windows. We're going to let that load up. Right now, when you first get on it, you've installed it, you've installed the ASI managers, okay, you've installed them too, and now you want to put a mod in. And, s and in the readme it's saying, go to the mods folder. And you're thinking, hang on a minute, well I haven't got a mods folder. All you need to do, right, this is very simple, right, go into your find your GTA 5 main directory folder okay that is just your main ground footer folder so local go in your local disk program files 86 steam steam apps common and then ground footer 5 okay and we're in the main folder if if yours isn't in that place you need to find out where it is I can't help you with that okay um and we have files and folders in there okay what we're gonna do we're gonna get that up all you need to do is you need to right click you need to create a new folder and call it mods m o d s that's it okay once you've got that mods folder minimize that and you'll see pops up straight away on open iv now you've got that mods folder okay but you've got nothing in it okay so they're telling you you need to go into the update folder or go into the update RPF or the 64 times 64 folder you haven't got any of them what you need to do okay you need to go file you need to click edit mode whenever you're doing something whenever you're changing something you need to be in edit mode okay then you want to click your update folder on the side here on the side panel click the update folder okay then you're gonna click in here you're gonna click that update dot RPF okay now you see when I opened it see it says at the top the mods folder right this means that it's not showing up in the mods folder and that's what we want it to do so we want to do copy to mods folder okay click that and that will copy that update.rpf to the mods folder so if we go back now click on that mods folder we've got that up update folder right there okay we've got the update rpf straight after and then we've got our other files and folders there that we will need next another thing you're going to need in there if we go back click GTA 5 okay and then we're going to go into the mods folder and you can see we've got the update now if we click in that update folder we have update.rpf we need another folder called times 64 now this is where you're going to put other mods such as like car add-ons okay like DLC packs okay so you're going to leave that for a second you're going to open up your GTA 5 main folder again okay so we're gonna go local disk C program files 86 we're gonna go to Steam we're gonna go to Steam apps common and then Grand Theft Auto 5 again I say this in every video yours may not be in the same location you just need to find out where it is and once you've got it is there okay once you're in that f in that folder click on the mods folder you're going to click on the update folder and then where it says update RPF you're going to create a new folder here and you're going to call this x64 okay and then you're going to open that folder in that folder you're going to make a new one called DLC packs DLC 
P-A-C-K-S. Okay, and that is it. And then your DLC packs, obviously you have nothing in there. Okay, that's fine. That's where you're going to put anything that needs to go in there. Um, such as car add-ons. Uh, I've just done a video on how to uh, do a car add-on. So check that out. Um, you'll need them folders. Um, but that is everything you need in there. If you go to back into GTA IV and you'll see if we click on the mods folder click in update and you'll see we've got that time 64 folder now DLC packs and then this is where our stuff would go um, and that's it that's all you need to know for now um, if this helped you out please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one